Confession time. I read the dictionary. So one day I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start with A, the very first page of that A entry. So uh, I was looking through it and guess what? Something immediately caught my eye. It was this illustration of an abacus. And so I kinda understand like the gist of it. It's like an ancient calculator and that kind of thing. Uh, but I have no concept of like how to use one, how it is actually um, able to do pretty complicated mathematics, I mean, for, for as far as an ancient tool. So step one, obviously I'm gonna need an abacus. So let's take this video and we're gonna make one and feel free to follow along. All right, so I think I've got everything ready um, for building the abacus. We've got some beads. Uh, these came in packs of 23 just at a local crafts store. And so I believe that's enough. I should have one left over because I think you need 91 beads in total. Um, for this particular abacus design. Um, the frame, I'm just gonna use these paint sticks and uh, hopefully that's enough to have the outside frame plus the, the, the uh, bar, the reckoning bar that's in the middle of the abacus. And then um, with the one that I'm building, it's gonna have 13 rows of beads and there's gonna be seven beads per each row. Um, five below the reckoning bar and two above the reckoning bar. And then finally, I'm gonna string them all together, um, probably with this or maybe some paracord. Um, I will let you know when I start testing this out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and see if, if any of this will, will work so that we can do this kind of cheap. Cool, so it looks like uh, with these beads, uh, they should actually all fit on one single paint strip uh, mixer. So that was really, Really convenient, good call. Um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna see what kind of uh, string I need to use to go run through all of the beads. I have this string left over from just like a beading, like an animal beading project uh, kit. So that's uh, what this is. I'm not really sure exactly what kind of string it is, but um, it's does slide very easily, so I'm wondering, let's see. Okay, I just wanted to check out another string option. I thought maybe um, some paracord might do the trick. Okay, so I can't get it through. I don't think this will fit if, it, if, it, if I hadn't already had this piece that was gutted. It definitely won't be moving, and I've got a lot more paracord than I do of this other string. So the handy thing about the paint sticks that I happen to buy is that they have uh, a little bit of a ruler um, already painted onto here. It's It only unfortunately goes to seven inches, so I had to turn this ruler around um, so I get the full measurement across. Um, but it looks like if we start uh, right about, I don't know, about uh, six eighths of an inch uh, in, and then you go seven eighths of an inch every other one. It fit all of these beads perfectly, um, almost perfectly centered. It's a little, there's like a one eighth uh, extra on this side, but I think that's okay. Um, we can work with that. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mark all of these so that we know where to drill holes. All right, so I went ahead and, and put these little X's where the beads used to be, but I did actually left align the X so that it would hit the line that I had counted from, and that way we got a little bit more of an even spacing um, as far as the entire uh, frame is concerned. So now this X is a little bit closer to the edge, and this X is a little farther away, so it is technically a little bit more center now that these X's are a full eighth of an inch, so now they're and they're also being pushed to the right a little bit um, by that eighth of an inch because of the width of the X. Last thing to do is make sure these X's are actually in the center of the stick, and since the stick is one inch uh, tall, I'm just gonna go through and mark a half inch and then just realign the X's to make sure we're hitting center.
Okay, so since I'm not completely sure what I'm gonna use for the things that the beads are actually gonna be on, I am gonna use my smallest drill bit that I have. It's not quite the same thickness as the paracord, but it's, you know, I, I feel like you could wiggle it in if, if that's what I go with. So we'll, uh, we'll just start with that. <laughs> so I actually made a mistake. I started drilling uh, the holes in all of the individual uh, paint sticks. And so even though I had measured it, you know, I measured it out and marked it everything, um, the holes don't perfectly align because I'm not the best uh, craftsman, as you can tell. I'm gonna go through and, and just kind of make sure that the holes line up and just drill them again now that I've taped all three together so that um, they have one, one hole that goes uh, for sure all the way through them. <laughs> All right, getting a little prototype here. I've got some of the abacus beads on there just so that I can play around and see what kind of distance I'm looking at. I'm thinking uh, we'll make the height, I guess, of the abacus uh, right about four and a half inches. And then um, we'll put the reckoning bar right at the third uh, inch there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so that it uh, can go on the side like this. All right, so I've got the frame all glued up now. It should be fairly solid. Uh, I did totally mess up um, by putting, <laughs> I don't know how I did this wrong, but um, I accidentally glued the bottom to the side instead of everything was supposed to be on touching this the side here but since I did it in kind of a weird way uh, that's what I got so uh, I'll, I'll figure that out but I did want to use uh, maybe an, like put a little notch in here anyway just to because I'm gonna be using strings so I thought maybe to have something to constantly be adjusting the tension across the entire abacus but we'll see this might have worked out in my favor but uh, it is a little bit um, not perfectly straight uh, because I did that. So that's okay. We'll just uh, move on from there. All right, so I wanted to give my beads some contrast so that you can tell the, the um, groups of three, um, kind of like if you're counting, let's say uh, a million, you would have uh, the one right here and then we'd have a set of zeros, right? And then another set of zeros um, and so on and so forth. So. That way it, it just makes it easier for you to find your place. Um, so all I've done is taken a permanent marker and I'm just kind of drawing these, uh, filling these beads in. Not the best thing and you probably can't even tell on camera. There is some uh, decent contrast in the light, uh, at least that I can see, um, but it's not too crazy so it's not gonna stand out, which I think is fine. Okay, we are done with the abacus. I think it turned out pretty cool. We, uh, as a recap, we used the following materials. If you wanted to follow along, we used uh, about five paint six, paint stirring six, and uh, the frame size is the the length of the paint stirring stick, which is 12 inches in my case, and then four and a half inches on the sides. Uh, we have another, obviously, one uh, this bar in the middle here, and that was placed at the third inch. And uh, as far as the string uh, material, I, I still don't know exactly what this is because I, I, I didn't buy it. I just had this laying around the house. Um, so it's kind of a silkier string. It, it flows really nicely with the beads, so they, there's really hardly ever any snags or anything like that. Um, and uh, I decided to go with the string. You could use something more traditional like uh, wooden dowels maybe or some kind of rod. Um, I just went with string because I knew it was going to be easy. I knew I had some laying around. And uh, I did end up not wanting to do paracord or doubling up any of the string because I wanted to keep the uh, ability to um, 
flick these bees uh, quickly. So I wanted to, I decided it didn't really matter if I was going to hold my place. Um, it matters more to me that uh, we optimize for speed and it's more more traditional um, feeling to be able to just kind of go up and down really fast with all of these beads. So as far as the beads are concerned, um, we did end up using something that kind of looks like an abacus bead. I just happened to find these at a craft store, so feel free to peruse your stores and try and find something similar. Or you could do something uh, with the plastic beads uh, that maybe are more common. I was actually going to use those originally until I happened to find these guys. So. Um, I, again, this is a 5-2 Chinese abacus, I believe is how it's called. Um, so we have five beads on the bottom, two on the top, and I wanted to use the 13 rows. So that meant I needed to get at least 91 beads so that I could complete my design for this abacus. Finally, a couple of extra materials that will help you out. Wood glue is what I used to um, put this all together with the frame, and then um, obviously a drill. Uh, some clamps will help help you out with that drill um, and if you do end up using power tools or any kind of tool to cut um, anything uh, make sure you do so safely uh, get supervision if that's something that you need um, for your age or for your abilities um, there's no shame in that and uh, always make sure you're wearing the, sa the proper safety gear for eye protection um, gloves whatever you may need um, and then obviously I use a pencil to mark things up. So that should be a good list for you to follow along if you wanted to do that. Um, please do so safely, of course. Uh, but this was a really fun project. I think you could probably bust it out in a day after you've collected all of the materials. So uh, let me know how it goes if you end up doing this with me. So actually that leads me to the challenge for this video. I want you to find something that you're also interested in trying out for the first time. Maybe it's building an abacus and trying this out with me. Um, or maybe there's something else that you've been wanting to explore as far as like it's maybe it's technology, maybe it's not. Um, but just go out and, uh, and find something interesting that you can explore with uh, maybe another culture too. And uh, let me know how that goes in the comments down below. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.